Hi, it's Kathy Hampton here from Wellside Retreats. Uh, Wellside Retreats is a transformational destination retreat and life coaching service. I am a transformational life coach and I help black women move away from what no longer serves them and move them toward something that will serve their life well. Um, that is transformation, um, moving from one place to another, making change. And that is what I do to assist and uh, provide resources, references, uh, motivation to anyone who wants to make a life change. So um, if you have not seen me in any uh, video um, speaking about wellness of body, mind, and spirit, um, welcome to the channel. Um, I hope that you will do me the favor if you're interested in what I um, have to say, uh, do me a favor and like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And when you do that, you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded. So I'm glad you're here today because I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite things to do. And I, the word to do uh, is key because this is the practice and you have to practice something. You have to do something with what I'm going to talk about today. And that is the practice of journaling. I'm a big fan of journaling and have uh, found it to be very effective in my life. And um, I'm, of course, I'm not the only one who thinks that, but I want to, I promote journaling in my, uh, my, my coaching uh, business and retreat business um, because it is effective. It is results oriented, as I said, it is impactful and it is something that you create. Words on a page that are powerful, words are powerful and coming from you uh, and me, uh, words can um, tell us things that we've either forgotten about, words can direct us Words can uh, help us move along in our journey. Words are, um, are, are powerful, a powerful method uh, to, to read and explore about our, ourselves. And so uh, what, I, what I want you to realize is that there's different types of journaling. Um, and because of that, journaling is magic to me. So the purposes, there are many purposes. As I said, journaling can be for transformation, for change. Um, we have, you know, you're here at point A and um, you can look back at your journal and see that you're at point B. Um, there's journaling for self-awareness, just free, free form writing, um, can make you realize that you hadn't thought about something about yourself uh, before until you journaled it. It just pours out of you. Um, I'm not kidding. It really does. <laughs> Journaling um, is also a great place um, to start planning, to take notes, to make a plan, to think and uh, about um, taking small steps or big leaps. You can do that by writing out a simple plan. You can document that by using a, a map, a timeline, whatever you feel comfortable with in making a plan for your life, for your day, for the month, um, you can do that. And a, a, a great mentor of mine uh, has always said, and the, the phrase goes, if you don't plan to do anything, you will be planning to fail. And um, yeah, so it, it, it really, um, that has really helped me quite a bit, uh, planning. 
or just documenting current or past events is a, is a great thing to, to, to journal. So what I mean by that is when you document something currently, like today, if I were to look out my window and I say, I wonder why I'm feeling this way. Um, and I, you know, I look out and, and it is a cloudy day and I document that. I just document what is current in my mind. Um, or I document something that I remember from the past. Later on, when reading your journal, because you have, to, you have to read the journal for it to be effective, really, a lot of times, um, is that you document something and you see the progression or the change in you over a period of time. So um, basically it, it shows uh, a story of time, your timeline. Even though, you know, you haven't visited, you know, things change constantly and a journal can capture that change. Um, storytelling is a great thing um, that uh, people can document um, a, a story or memory. And this is the beginning of uh, something that could actually be used to pu be published if one wanted that to be published, their, their memory, their memoir, or what they remember. The storytelling feature of, of uh, journaling is quite effective in um, telling your story as you see it in one respect, but then maybe retelling the story again and comparing. So let's say you um, have thought, you know, I was really rambunctious in my lifetime and I wrote that story out. And then you, you know, a month or two later, you think about that. You said, not really, I really wasn't rambunctious. I was just very active I did X, Y, and Z because of X, Y, and Z. And I thought at one time I might have been rambunctious, but no, it was because of this, this was going on in my life. So retelling stories. You know, people have written memoirs based on what affected them at the time, which may be totally different from what someone else thought uh, of them or an event or a circumstance. And it's coming from the perspective of the writer that has to be honored by the writer um, in telling their story. It is theirs to, to tell. Um, it may be something that uh, events that occurred that were traumatic and they saw things one way, but then maybe um, they, after some time, they may have clarity of thought and see it a whole different way. So there's a, there's, um, uh, some controversy over memoir, um, because we all can re remember things differently, but carrying around a journal and writing our stories is, is a wonderful way to document our memory and our memoir. The one of the last things that I want to leave you with about journaling is the fact that journaling is affirmative. It holds on to our affirmations. I am happy. I will be famous. I will uh I will uh, lose six pounds. Um, it affirms what you desire or affirms what you think of yourself. And um, a lot of affirmations are pivotal because they are our truths. 
And that along with planning can lead to some, some real serious magic. And it, things happen when you journal. I'm a witness, as they say in the church, uh, or can I get a witness? I'm sure there are many people out there who would tell you the same thing, that uh, taking up pen and paper, taking up a, a, a small book and writing notes to yourself can get you a long way and um, on a path to wherever you would like to go. I encourage you to pick up a pen, pick up some paper, uh, start to write, and uh, see what happens. Um, I will, in the, in the year of 2023, the early months uh, of 2023, I will be offering a, uh, a uh, journaling workshop and um, it will be a part of a larger um, program. And I'd like to invite you to um, put your name on an email list on my website. My website is Wellside Retreats with the S dot care. I'll say that again. Wellside Retreats dot care. And at that website, um, you'll you'll see a, a prompt to add your email address, your information. And when the workshop uh, and the program begins, you'll get notice to sign up. And um, I hope that you can experience the magic of journaling. I call it magic. Um, other people may call it, you know, um, good luck or, 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 or whatever, but things um, can come to you through the power of journaling. Um, it is a powerful practice. It is a great practice for, for all the reasons that I, I laid out for you today. Um, there is no one way to journal. Um, there's no one book or piece of paper to use. Just pick up something uh, and uh, write it down. I, I always tell people I write on napkins and backs of envelopes. A lot of people do. This is one thing that I've been writing on today. <laughs> um, I'm going to transfer that to somewhere else. But whatever I, I can pick up, I have a couple journals on this table that I'm I uh, have, and they all are for different purposes. Um, they are my documentation of, of what, what I'm planning, um, what I have uh, written for memoir, um, and uh, many other things. So uh, I hope to see you um, in the coming months of 2023. Um, for uh, an upcoming journaling workshop, um, do me a favor, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and also buy me a coffee. I'm gonna put a description in the description where you can buy me a coffee. And on my website, you can also scroll all the way down to the bottom and buy me a coffee. When you buy me a coffee, you help some other woman become, uh, be happy and joyful. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. That is, uh, uh, goes to, uh, to help some others. So, um, I, I, I really appreciate that donation and, um, I will see you again at some other, um, some other time where we'll talk about wellness, uh, transformational change. Take care. Bye-bye.